God bless everybody this morning. It is actually uh, 1.40 a.m. Central Time. Um, I'm doing a special update because I just saw something come across my uh, terminal that I thought you should be aware of. Um, it is uh, April uh, 3rd um, this morning. Um, what I'm seeing is um, OPEC just cut a million barrels of production a day. And we're seeing um, them trying to uh, sanction the Russians. And so this is going to cause, um, in some estimates, it's, they're talking a $10 a barrel uh, jump. And so this is highly inflationary. And you're going to see um, fuel, um, gas prices jump at the pump. Now, we just saw here, um, just in the last week or so, about a 40 cent rise overnight. Um, that was before this happened. And so, um, you know, I think we're at like 363 or 365. And so it was around 325, um, 335. And then it jumped 40 cents overnight. And so this is just going to add an additional jump um, on the fuel. This is going to cause more inflation, um, people are going to be paying more at the pump, it's going to cost more to produce things, um, OPEC's not going to stop this um, potential um, production cut, and so, um, you know, by the time Saudi and the OPEC um, plus nations cut 1.16 million barrels per day, this is going to um, adversely affect um, this market. Um, if you go out to the uh, markets themselves um, and you look at this, um, Brent um, has jumped almost 5.6% uh, um, since this news came out. And so we're watching um, the price of Brent per barrel has gone up four point, uh, about four dollars and fifty one cents. So this is a massive jump. Um, I'd fill up your car, <laughs> save a little bit on this because this one's not going away. And if you see the market start to crash, everybody's always saying, "Well, demand's down," but so fuel would go down. But if they cut and do all these things and the markets stay vault as they are, and then you have a um, layer of potential Middle East war um, that could shut down the Strait of Hormos and some of this uh, different areas, um, you could see triple-digit fuel again. I've been talking about this. This fuel situation is not going away. You had a small reprieve, and so you better have enjoyed that because this is going to start to move back up to tri triple digit. And if you see a Middle East catastrophe, um, especially if Turkey gets into this and starts to um, potentially decimate Iran in the next few months, um, you're going to potentially see 125 to $150 Brent out here again. And that is going to hyperinflate this economy as the banks are collapsing, as all the dollars are coming home. This is just a hyperinflation um, scenario that's just going to be a perfect storm for the collapse of the dollar itself. And so you need to get ready. If you guys aren't getting your oil in your lap, you need to. Um, but anyway, I just wanted you to realize that um, there's been a major move with OPEC and Saudi Arabia. Um, Saudi Arabia and OPEC are moving away from the petrodollar. And so you real, you have to realize that you could potentially see a collapse of the fiat currency. The dollar itself. And that's why they may possibly move to a national cryptocurrency. And you're watching, um, if you've been watching my videos, you'll realize that Bitcoin's getting ready to collapse also. And so this isn't, it's orchestrated. Um, a lot of this is, is um, planned. 
the Fed is trying to collapse the dollar and they're going to move to a crypto type system and they have to collapse the dollar because they can't service the debt. Every time he raises rates and you're at 5% right now and you're at 32 trillion, you have to understand how much money they have to service in the interest of the debt out here. And that is what's going to cause this to collapse. But like I say, you got to watch the two-year bond. Um, that's another thing I noticed tonight. But yeah, you got to watch this two-year bond. You can see how it um, it spiked right here, um, but it's dropped back a little. But it's still it's an upward movement trajectory, and so the Fed is going to. We're going to watch this potentially meld up again. That's going to cause problems with the Fed. If the Fed raises in May, that's going to shock the markets because they know he's not going to cut at that point because he ha he still hasn't paused yet or or reversed course or pivoted. So this is going to um, cause everybody all kinds of problems. So God bless everybody tonight. Get your oil in your lamp. Get right with Jesus. He's the only open door into the next existence. God bless and have a great night.